All right, <clears throat> I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS, peace and blessings unto the elect. It's the brother Atazari from GMS Houston. And uh, I wanted to finish the lesson I had started in Ezekiel. I will actually finish out the chapter in Ezekiel, okay? Um, that I had started uh, yesterday, okay? And I left off at verse 10, but I'm gonna start back at uh, nine. And this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and uh, verse nine. Uh, it says, I will make thee perpetual desolations, okay? And thy city shall not return, and ye shall know that I am the Lord, okay? And this is, this is talking against Mount Seir, Okay, which is Esau Edom, which we, we proved through the scriptures in the last uh, lesson. Okay, um, let me get a, 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 a quick precept or maybe a couple of precepts. Let me get uh, the book of Malachi, the first chapter, which is the last book. In the Old Testament. Okay. And uh, let me read it again. Ezekiel 35 and 9. I will make thee perpetual desolations. Continual. All right. And thy city shall not return. Okay. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Okay. So let's get Malachi 1. And I'm going to start at 1. It says the burden of the word of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem was shot to Israel by Malachi. Okay. <clears throat> I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. You see, Jacob wrestled with the angel. His name was changed to Israel. Okay. He prince power. He's a prince of the power. In order to be a prince, you have to be the son of the king. Okay. And we're the sons of, of, of God, okay? Or the sons of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, Israel. Yahshua Allah, he prints power, okay? That's what it means, okay? Verse three, and I hated Esau, all right? And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. It's funny because Esau means wasted away. You know, because he was born without pigmentation. He's going to be wasted away. Okay. And laid his mountains in his heritage. Okay. Whatever come after him. All right. Which ultimately he'll be done away with altogether. And laid his mountains and his heritage. All right. His rulerships. Okay. His governments and his heritage. Waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, okay, Esau is Edom. We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts or armies. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call themselves, and they shall, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. The Most High has indignation against Esau, Edom, okay? And that's perpetual, okay? Uh, let me go back. And they are the wicked, okay? Let me go back to uh, Ezekiel 35 and 9. All right. Uh, let me get another precept real quick. All right. Let me see where it's at. Uh, this is Jeremiah 49. I started uh, 16. It says, Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart. Okay, 
Esau Edom is the most proud POS day is going, man. All right. And thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, and that's where they used to dwell, man. Okay, that's why they build these skyscrapers. It reminds them of home. If you look up Petra, P-E-T-R-A, just Google it, you'll see. They even had that in the, uh, that Indiana Jones movie. All right, uh, it was either the first one or the second one, but they showed Petra in there, okay? Which was just a dwelling carved into, into a mountain, man, okay? Um, that holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, all right? I will bring thee down from thence, said the Lord, okay? And I got a couple of precepts there, Obadiah 3 and 4, verses 3 and verse 4, all right? Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at the plagues thereof, okay? As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring, neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord, no man shall abide there, neither shall a shall a son of man dwell in it all right this place gonna be wiped out man okay uh let's go back let me see where was i at oh, okay ezekiel 35 and 10 because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine and we will possess it whereas the lord was there okay um yeah and they want to cut the, like you see in the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Matter of fact, let me grab that right quick. Okay. And these are the enemies of, of Israel. All right. And the number one enemy is Edom. When you read verse 6, Psalms 83 and 6, let me see. Uh. So Psalms 83, hmm. I started too. It says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Who are the Lord's people? The Israelites. And have consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Okay? The northern and the southern kingdom. Okay, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, that's what they, they hold agenda is to cut us off. All right, but we won't be cut off. Okay, and the Lord is going to send his son to redeem his elect. All right, uh, verse 11. Therefore, Ezekiel 35 and 11. Therefore, as I live, I said the Lord, <coughs> God, so like you, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And how was we treated? Terribly. And that's an understatement. Okay. Until this very day, we are sorely oppressed. All right. When I finish this lesson, I got to take a quick shower and jump and go straight to the cotton fields, man. Why? Because we're oppressed. And we, we've been treated terribly. And again, that's, that's an understatement, man. Okay? The hell? Okay, that's not nothing. Because I got it on airplane mode. I'm like, how in the hell did something come through? Let me plug this to and get it too charged up. All right. Uh, where I'm at? Uh, verse Ezekiel 35 and 12. It says, And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. <laughs> oh, Samuel Jackson. And Salakia. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. And that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel. Okay, saying they are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. 
for a period of time and you should have let us go. But guess what? At the time when our captivity had an end, you, you didn't let us go. Okay? And you're going to pay for that too. All right? Uh, I got a precept right here. Uh, okay. Verse 13, it says, Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. Okay, I have heard them. All right. And the the number one blasphemy against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is putting up them false images, man. Okay. The the finger touching, you know, which is a white image. Of God, you know, and they all up there naked. That's man, that's blasphemous, man. Okay. That's blasphemous. Then the finger touching, you know, then you got G the other white meat, Jesus, Cesare Borgia, Serapis Crispus, Crispus. Okay. Crispus. So lucky I have a hard time saying that. Okay, that's all blasphemy, man. Okay, against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The images of, of the saints, the angels, all Edomites. All right, uh oh. And uh, <clears throat> not only that, it, it, little naked angels flying around, floating, man. Come on, man. When the Lord speaks about covering your nakedness, okay, and being lewd. All those those fake images that are iconoclasm, man. That that's all lewdness, man. Okay, that's lewd. Um, let me see where I was. It says, verse Ezekiel thirty-five and thirteen. Thus, with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. And the most high have heard them, all right? Whether they be in secret or out in the open, however, okay? And everything that you've done, it's been recorded and reported back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Uh, and you'll pay for every everything, okay? Uh, you've even said that you, you are the most high, Okay? And that's your attitude, Edom. You want to be God. You want to be the most high. You want to be the supreme being, the all-seeing, all-knowing, the omnipotent, man. And you never will be. All right, verse 14, Ezekiel 35 and 14. Thus said the Lord God, when the whole earth, uh, let me go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thus said the Lord God. When the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate. <clears throat> As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Idumea. So the Most High got it all wrapped up in this scripture. Mount Seir, Idumea, that's, that's Edom. Okay, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Okay, um, so I mean, that's it. I just had wanted to finish out that chapter, and Lord willing, <clears throat> it was edifying. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. And double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone. Esau, your time is up and the Most High is about to take you out of rulership. Good riddance. Inshallah warm.